Types of Containments The term containment is used to describe primary and secondary barriers for managing potentially hazardous material in the laboratory environment. The purpose of containment is to reduce exposure of lab workers, persons, and outside environment to potentially hazardous material. The three elements of containments include laboratory practice and techniques, safety equipment, and facility design. Containment includes research stage, greenhouse, and growth rooms. Types of containments Physical containment and biological containment Physical containment The objective of physical containment is to confine, recombinant organism thereby preventing the exposure of researchers and environment to harmful agents. Physical containment is achieved through Laboratory practice Containment and equipment Laboratory design Biological containment for consideration of biological containment, the vector of recombinant DNA and the host, in which the vector is propagated in the lab will be considered together. Primary containments Primary containments consist of laboratory or facility where the work takes place. Laboratory practice and techniques are the most important elements of primary containment. Persons working with potentially hazardous materials, must be aware of potential hazard and be trained and proficient in the practices and techniques required to handling such materials safely. Safety equipments include biosafety cabinets, safety blenders, centrifuge cups, and variety of enclosed containers. Biosafety cabinets Biosafety cabinet also known as biological safety cabinets or microbiological safety cabinets are used to provide Primary containment in the laboratory when the investigator is handling a potentially infectious materials. Biosafety cabinets are used in order to protect the laboratory worker, who is handling the infectious materials and also to protect the environment. Most of the biosafety cabinets also provide product protection. It is not safe for the user to work with pathogenic organism in a laminar flow chamber. The major difference between Laminar flow chamber and biosafety cabinet is that, air which comes out of the biosafety cabinet is filtered using HEPA filter, where in laminar flow air blows out unfiltered, so there is no protection for the laboratory worker. Types or classes of biosafety cabinets There are three types of biological safety cabinets. Class 1, Class 2, and Class 3. Secondary containment Secondary containments are, those features associated with facility that surrounds the primary barriers. Examples of primary barriers, floors, walls, and ceilings, air locks, self-closing doors, differential pressure between spaces, exhaust filtration as well as treating contaminated air, liquid, and solids. Function of secondary containment. To prevent both the release of microbes, into the environment and to prevent contaminated organism from contaminating the workplace.